brakes, everybody. Oh, so we're off the side, but okay, we're all right. And then someone doesn't even have a car. <laughs> all right, we better get this started because it's about to be college. <laughs> we're just gonna get run over massively. <laughs> we're gonna have a good time. Brick boost fountain. a decent start that <laughs> yeah, really did. not a bad launch you yeah, know we did all right there yeah so that was the brake boost boat sir the one where it goes even quicker when you use the brakes that's why we have to use the handbrake to stay on the island otherwise we wouldn't have been some notes for this G-Fred. This is the first G-Fred of the final, like, normal G-Freds for this season, this year. And so we've got regular G-Freds to come on all the platforms. Right, the Horizon one. And then December's obviously snow friends. Um, but... I wrote down some notes because it's been a long time since I had a good result. All right, we'll do the dad joke. Here's one. How do you find Will Smith in the snow? Look for fresh prints. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, the last time I finished in the top five in a G-Fred was day three of the gfred week episode 196 the no rules gfred that was the last time i got a top five uh the last time i won a gfred or even finished in the top two was the first transform fred in episode 176 so i'm currently on a 29 race losing streak and a nine race no top five streak which is the longest ever for both of those things. So it's been a rough period lately for G Freds. 29 races without a win, without even a top two, and nine races without a top five. Um, I've actually only won two G Freds this entire year a Project Homecoming G Fred in the Rain and the aforementioned transform fred and i only won three in 2022 as well um the last regular weather normal g fred that i won was back in september 2022 around 50 episodes ago <laughs> uh so of those 29 races we've had 16 different winners the multiple winners include lock and frozen hunt with two wins verdolith with five wins and rbs with eight wins so yeah um but no. Oh, it's been a little out. bit of a bad uh, period for me with G Freds. Oh, just... no. well, he's going to get kicked out, isn't he? There we go. Oh, this isn't as quick as that hot room. So yeah, we're, we're, we're back into the normal G Freds. I can try to use some of the things that I've learned doing the uh, the world record run for the vanilla G Freds at least. I need to get a different car because this is nowhere near as good as what's just driven away from me. <laughs> uh, the theme for the traffic for Project Homecoming this week, if I remember what Dim might said correctly, is uh, vehicles that are exclusively Project Homecoming, like pods or vanilla vehicles that have been changed. Um, in sort Come of response on. of, you know, Rockstar removing a lot of custom vehicles. We've basically got what a G-Fred where there's no oh, vanilla shit. vehicles, so only custom oh, created ones. Oh, you tit. We obviously won't see any GTA 4 cars because those have all been removed. Thanks to Rockstar. But, uh, Yeah, 
are basically only mod vehicles for this one. Which is kind of nice. Should I take it? This might be a mistake, but this is going to be amazing to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't win G friends anymore. <laughs> Drag King, let's go! 200 miles an hour immediately! <laughs> Jesus. The difficulty is going to be avoiding traffic. Oh my god, look at the speed! Look at how much, look at how quick I'm catching up! <laughs> look at this! <laughs> so fast! I went straight past! <laughs> Oh, this was a great move! Even if I changed cars at the airport, this was an absolutely stunning move! I'm making up so much time! Oh my god, this is incredible. What a play! What a play! Leaders had a great start in this gym. I haven't been able to catch up there, but only one. So far ahead. Alright, I'm not gonna even attempt the airport jump. No, 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 no! no. Someone's tried it. Yeah, Benny tried it. It didn't work for him. <laughs> this was a good decision. There we go. I'm in second. I think I am anyway. And I'm so far ahead. overdo it and lose a lot of time. some uh, race cars in the traffic as well. The traffic's been really good in this one. Sports car road giving some crazy good race cars. The Drag King was an interesting play and it actually worked really well. I don't know what the off-road traction loss of this Electric Toaster, to be honest, he's so far ahead. And in a 
car like this is such a... I mean, he, he must have got this car immediately and he just took off. Wait, was, the, was it him who drove away from me on the highway when I was in the faction? Could have been. Yeah, it was. Okay. It's off road traction loss is normal, but it's not necessarily the grippiest. Oh, electric toaster has had a nightmare. No way. Oh, is that him? Stuck, he can't get up that last little bit. The middle route was the right decision.
wasn't expecting this. When I came up with all the, I, I just, I was just curious this week about how long it's been since I last won a G Fred. I was just curious, so I looked up at the stats and realized it was 29 and it would be the longest it's ever been. And I thought, oh, I'll mention that on the next G Fred. Which I obviously did at the start of this one. I can't believe it. This might be one of the best G Freds I have ever done. Everything just worked. Every decision, every transition, it all just worked. Yes! Come on! 29 G Freds! And I finally got another win. Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. That, that might be one of the best out of the two. The decisions were on point. The Drag King decision was perfect. Getting that car, the trans that transition into Zancudo, I didn't want to say anything at the time to jinx it. The decision making to go the middle route of Chiliad and do the, the OG parachute line to keep it safe. Just every single thing. That was one of those rare moments where everything I do just worked. Apart from that one bush going to the observatory. <laughs> That's amazing. The next positions. To get the end. That's right, X5. I know, right? Boom. Where was that? What get lost? Nobody's finished still. I'm still waiting. <laughs> there we go. Bloody Squirrels is finished. A minute twenty second. A minute twenty four behind in second place. That's what a massive gap. The hell did I do that? Everyone's finishing now. Mm. Bloody hell! I absolutely dominated a G friend. What's this all about? <laughs> Holy moly! Yes. <laughs> How to win a G friend. Step one, use a top fuel dragster. Step two, use your 5.8 litre naturally aspirated 700 bhp V8 powered NASCAR for everything past the airport. <laughs> I know, right? Warm colors. <laughs> Can't do that legitimately. Wow, that's amazing. That is one of the best drives I think I've ever done on a G friend. RBS and Verdlith actually weren't here for this one, but. Like, I, that, if I hadn't beaten them driving like that, I would never beat them ever. Because that was just everything went flawlessly. So, I'm really pleased with how I did. No, not my birthday raving. <laughs> Jumpy with the 100 bits, it really is your birthday. God damn it. <laughs> Uh, Sabro with the 350. Don't believe his lies. He rigged this run and killed the deer on purpose. <laughs> Madman with the five months as well. Thank you very much. The chili ad call. The chili ad call was what got me the win. I agree. That's where it all happened. A lot of DNFs. It was an interesting selection of cars, I think, because. Some had higher off-road traction losses, some didn't, but had low grip, but high top speed. Like, it, it, it was an interesting, it was, it was interesting traffic at that one. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> 